Hi, we're Will and Lisa, the Empty Nest Project. And if you've been following along, we've been spending five weeks in Europe. And for part of our trip, we've been hiking the Isle of Man coastal path. If you want, you can go back and watch part one and part two. For the first part of our hike, we went up the west coast of the island, which is less populated, but full of gorgeous cliff views and animal pastures. Now we're going to be traveling down the east coast of the island and we're going to walk between two of the largest towns on the island and hop on some of the historic railways on the island. But first, we had to get to the very northernmost point, the Point of Air, and walk along seven miles of beach. Day four. Good morning. Today we we're walking through a nature reserve, preserve, reserve, something, and we we're headed towards the north point of the island where there's a lighthouse. And it's supposedly this point is 18 miles from Scotland, it's supposed to be like the closest point of the island to land, to other land. And it's a beach walking day, I think. Yep. Right I'll now we're on the reserve, but we're going to go to the beach. What were you going to say? I was going to say we were just dropped off by our bed and breakfast host, who was uh, very accommodating, had a wonderful breakfast this morning, and the place was uh, very nice. Point Air, which is the northern point of the island. Point Air Lighthouse. That's one lighthouse. And then up here is another lighthouse that's smaller, which we're thinking might be the one that was built in the 1800s. And maybe this is the newer one. And then maybe we'll see if we can try to spot Scotland from the tip of this island, which is 18 miles away. After we rounded the point of air, we had about seven miles of beach to cover. And after talking to our host and reading some waypoint signs, I was under the impression that the beach was mostly sand. It was not. Found a tiny bit, tiny bit of sand. It's still mostly rocks. Stupid beach <laughs> that wasn't sand. Welcome to Ramsey. Here we are at a proper hotel, as our previous host said. On day five, we were walking from Ramsey to Laxey and started the day by picking up groceries and coffee from a real coffee shop. From there we began the first six miles along the coast enjoying the views and more sheep.
quite humid today. It's like the breeze is cool, but it's so sticky and hot. I feel like I'm just sweating everywhere. Along the way, we'll chat with the homeowner who suggested stopping at a church with a graveyard that had some pretty old gravestones. When we reached the church, we realized we had to take a detour. Maintenance works are underway. Please follow the diversion. So this church was built on the site of a 7th century Celtic monastery. After exploring the church graveyard, we decided to make our detour a ride on the historic electric tramway, the world's longest running electric tram in its original stock. We started in car one, which was built in 1893. Even though our walk ended in Laxey, our lodging for the night was in Douglas, so we continued on the tram to Douglas, switching cars for a different view. It's a good thing we don't have any luggage. We would not be... Yeah. We have to go up one at a time. Yeah. No more than three persons, though. Don't try to fit a third person. Wait, who's the... <laughs> who's the third person? Waking up in Douglas meant that we had to take a bus back to Laxey to walk the 10 miles from Laxey to Douglas. Birds seem extra loud here. We left down the tent road. From our guidebook, we realized there was a historic narrow gauge train that went to a tea house that was built on the coast. It was built and run entirely by volunteers. And it was just a short distance from the path, so we took a small detour to visit. a trail that goes on the back of these people's gardens but it's so overgrown you can barely walk and there was like a whole hedge of like thorny plants a big chunk of the way it's like I just feel like you're gonna fall over the slowest 
<laughs> mode of transportation. Completely clear skies, lovely weather, great way to start the day. Don't judge me. I wanted coffee that tasted semi-good, even though I don't even like Starbucks as much as other places. But the hotel coffee is pretty gross. For our last day on the trail, we decided that at some point we should ride the historic steam train. We'd already been on the electric tram, seen the horse tram, and the narrow gauge train. So we left Douglas and walked along the path planning to hop on the train at some point on the way to Castletown. We arrived in Castletown and walked a few more miles to our hosts, the same hosts that we had started our trip with. Duh. 